Okay. Hi, good evening, and welcome to my daily broadcast. Um, and we'll see. Let's see if people join in and we'll get some audio. Uh, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, my name is Barry Selby, and I am, for those who don't know me, a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine. I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart um, on Facebook Live, but then also on YouTube, they show up later. So, Jolie, nice to see you. Um, can you hear me? I need to verify if you can hear me or not, because I did have an audio issue earlier. So, somebody, somebody watching can just tell me they can hear me, that would be great. Um, where was I? Oh, yes, I do these daily talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's is number 360, almost at a full year. And the topic today came from a Abraham Hicks talk I was listening to earlier today. That is fundamental about relationships. You can hear me. Great. Thank you. I'm so glad. Um, in case I actually deleted the previous one, I tried talking and apparently nobody heard me because my earbuds weren't in. So now you can hear me. Great. All right. So the topic tonight is <laughs> a belief is only a thought you keep thinking. And I heard this on... Um, um, again, an Abraham Hicks teaching earlier today. Hopefully you can all hear me now, so I'm glad you're coming back in. Thank you for joining me again. Um, and it was so, like, like crystal clear. It just hit me over the head, like, going, of course. And a lot of my clients and women I know have been voicing their distress that they're only no good men. And it's not so much that they're wondering where the good men are, which is a more opening question. They're just saying there are no good men. And the reality is that belief is a thought that keeps being kept thinking. And so, let me say it this way. Whatever, you can hear me as well. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that because I was because first I did this earlier and it didn't. Apparently, my earbuds weren't in properly, so I wasn't getting audio. So, thank you for being here. Thanks for letting me know you can hear me. Hopefully, this will be valuable to you now that you can hear me. <laughs> so, the teaching principle in this again is from Abraham Hicks event. I don't know which one it was. I just have a bunch of audios on my phone on my um, iTunes that I listen to. And Abraham was saying this like seven different ways, going, what, you know, a belief is a thought you keep thinking. And said that over and over, and I've kind of like, heard this before, and I know this, but it was like, okay, in context of relationships, in the context of dating, in the context of anything really in life, but in particular in relationships, so many people create a reality of belief from a thought they keep thinking that was never true in the first place. Think about that for a second. If you have a, a belief that, if you're a woman, that, that, that men are going to cheat on you, that men are going to lie to you, or there are no good men out there, that's going to become your reality because your belief is going to be perpetrated by repeated thinking of the same thing. So here's the thing. You can change what you're thinking. And the, and the, <clears throat> the end result of that, which is what Abraham's talking about, is you can, you can believe things that, you can say things that aren't... Um, environmentally, in, in experientially so. But the more you say them and own them, the more you start creating a new belief structure. And if the new belief happens, the reality will change. So, literally, if you are someone who's been challenged about finding a relationship because you keep judging and blaming the opposite sex for not showing up, and you're saying that all the other ones are taken, or there are, that all men are lie to me, or all men are going to cheat, or all men are drunks, whatever it is you have as a belief system... Yes, you have vindication of your belief because you've created a reality where that gets reflected. So you can say, but it's true, I see men like that. Well, yes, but the question is, what came first? You thinking that or the men showing up that way? Because even if the men showed up the way initially, the number of men that showed up increased after you kept saying it. Pretty much guarantee it. This is, this is the power of reality. I said in the earlier recording, that I will be going a bit woo-woo with you. It's doing a bit spiritual. It's Sunday, so I'm going to be a little spiritual here. The, the recognition for any of us is that what we say to ourselves, out loud or internally, to other people or not, is actually going to create our reality because it's what is required. This is, this is, this is Abraham's teaching. This is the law of attraction, basically, working. So if you keep repeating the same thought or affirmation even, some people, they call, I call them, well, negative affirmations, I have a different term for it. It's kind of the F-U-C-K emotions. <laughs> I'm not going to quote it, say it out loud, because some people have got sensitive ears on a Sunday night. But the thing is, people have this belief structure that things won't work out for them. 
because they keep saying to themselves, things won't work out there. Hey, you two, Angel and Brett, good to see you in my broadcast. I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, thanks for being here. So this um, principle is such a simple one, but it's such a profound one when you realize just how powerful your thinking, your intending is. The power of intention. This is the law of attraction working. The power of intention. I mean, this is, um, well, the intention experiment is, um, is, what's her name? It'll come back to me. Ah, There's a book called The Intention Experiment. There's also um, The Power of Intention, which was um, Wayne Dyer, I believe. Was it Wayne Dyer? Anyway, there's a whole bunch of books about The Power of Intention. So here's the reality. Whatever you state repeatedly is an intention that becomes a belief. So if you're someone who has had bad experiences in a relationship because you believe relationships won't work, here's a homework. Yes, I'm going to give you a homework on this. As an experiment, we'd like you to try this out. You try to catch as much as you can. Well, you got to, if you, you guys, if you haven't seen my broadcast for a while, this is number 360. <laughs> I've also got a year's worth under my belt now. So these are going every day. And the one day yesterday and the day before were very powerful. If you didn't see those, I highly recommend watching Fridays and, Sat- Fridays and Saturdays. That was 358, 359, um, based on a video I saw that was about slut shaming. And it went really deep. And the thing was about the power of our words. It's kind of similar to this, but different about how we take things personally when people say stuff. So that one, yes, this is definitely a powerful awakening for people who don't know about how they take other people's words to heart in a negative way. Anyway, today's broadcast is about what you think to yourself becomes your own law, your belief, your truth, your experience, which means you can change it. This is the power of this, because you may be saying to yourself, well, I'm stuck in this because I keep getting this experience and I keep having things not work out and men cheat on me and men lie to me, all this stuff and stuff. What if... This is an experiment, an, exp- an opportunity for you, a homework assignment. If you are willing to try this out as an experiment, how do you do with these words, try it. If you're willing to do this, to play with this over the next week, next month, see what happens. It won't cost you anything. It won't require anything except to do what like to, I would like to hear from you if you do this experiment. For the next 30 days, let's do 30 days because that's a good time to change a habit. Start stating a different truth, a different fact, a different thought than you've done in the past. Because if you have been experiencing dating as painful because men don't do what you want and men are none of the good ones are there, all all the good ones are taken as you've been saying to yourself for the last five years. What if for the next 30 days you say there are amazing single good men that are interested in me, for example, or the the men I date and the men I meet are clean and sober and loyal. Um, The men I meet are, you know, whatever it is, opposite of what you've been saying for the last how many years, say something different the other way. So you'll go look at it. Yes, your, your husband is going, I didn't have my glasses on, unfortunately. You're going, your husband is going to be mad. Oh, you caught me without him. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I'm glad Brent thinks the word of me. Thank you. I love the fact that you both like my stuff. I mean, we started on Periscope together years ago, recently, so a while ago. So thank you for joining me on this. This is um, my ongoing series of talks. These have led to some amazing things. Um, that's another time though. So I'm glad you joined me. Thanks you, Angel. And uh, yeah, let your husband know he can watch when he gets a chance to. <laughs> that's the good thing about Facebook Lives. They do live in there in perpetuity, so you can get to watch them later. Um, and usually they're late, earlier than that, but this is a holiday weekend and I went out to a barbecue and then went to see uh, Solo, the movie with a bunch of friends today and uh, just got back. So now I'm doing this. So thanks for being here. Thanks for the love. I appreciate that. So your homework. Don't give me a track. Don't lose track. Back on the homework. Next 30 days. Whatever you've been running as a belief about your past relationship history, as in the way that if you're a woman, how men have treated you or not treated you, or how they've shown up or not shown up, or all the good ones are taken, or you only find man boys, or as I talked about a while ago, or you only find men that don't want to be committed, whatever that is. The next 30 days, say to yourself, if you want, you know, say to anybody else, just say it to yourself, the opposite of that. So again, if you have been experiencing what you think are basically man boys, men who don't want to grow up and become mature adults, you can say to yourself, I'm meeting men who are mature, wise, and caring, for example. Or, again, if 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 you've you've been meeting men because you believe this to be the case, and now, this is the thing. Your experience comes after belief, not before. And this is the trip. This is the trap we fall into. We think when we see experiencing things in the world, we start believing, saying, well, that happened, therefore I'm believing it. 
But I, but as, and as I said at the beginning, this is, this is what Abraham Hicks talks about, which I love this teaching, is that we keep thinking the same thought, it becomes a belief, and then the reality matches that belief in that order. So if you've been meeting people in romantic settings that don't fit your criteria, and then you keep saying, keep meeting people like that, you actually have the power to change that experience. You have change the power to change that reality. So if you've been seeing that experience regularly, you can change it. And it's not dramatic, it's simple in a way, but it requires consistency. So again, next 30 days, your homework, if you choose to accept, your mission, if you choose to accept, is whatever your limiting belief is indeed, yeah, it, whatever you, sorry, I'm just responding to comments. If you, again, if you're watching this, Facebook, this on YouTube, you won't see the comments. So these are Facebook Live comments I'm responding to. Sorry, if you're watching it on YouTube, come watch it on YouTube, on Facebook Live instead. Um, if you are someone who has been experiencing hardship in relationship because you've been meeting the wrong people or challenged by whatever that is or the limiting beliefs you've been running about that, just for a second, look at, first of all, what your beliefs are. Because if you start thinking to yourself, you might go, yeah, I've been running, I believe this is the case. I've been experiencing this. I've been seeing this. My, I, I believe this is true. Again, because thinking perpetuated becomes belief. Try in a different thought for 30 days. Because again, beliefs are thoughts persisted in. If you make a thought that's different from that, then you persist in that new thought, your beliefs will change. And then your reality, your experience, your ex life journey will be different. That's the power of your thought. And again, I'm using Abraham Hicks as a basis for this, but it's the thing I've learned for a long time. The power of it, the law of attraction works this way in that you run beliefs that actually start from your thinking. So you change your thinking, your beliefs will change, and then your reality will come to match that. It's going to be a game changer for some of you out there. Now, I know some of the people who watch my, my broadcast know this stuff well, but I want to say for the people who don't know this stuff very well, because it's not special and it's not just for certain people everybody has this power everybody has this power because we're all sourcing the same energetic the same place my belief maybe you know yours but it's my belief so the teaching that we as a power to create a reality as in create thoughts persisted in that creates beliefs that repeat that then create reality that's how it works so and this is true of any area i'm, I'm using relationship as a as a um test bed but it's true in any area of your life. So if it's an area of business or politics, yes, even politics, or family dynamics or travel conditions, whatever it is you have any belief about, if it's not what you want, key, if it's not what you want, you can change it. You can change it by changing your thinking. Yes, this is sound so, it sounds so simple. So some people are gonna go, hey, what? That's what I'm saying, your homework for the next 30 days is as a challenge, as an experiment, Try to emphasize, if you're running beliefs that don't work for you, then practice thinking the opposite of that, different from that, the way you do want it to be. Thinking about it and say it in a way that even if it doesn't match your reality, but you start feeling it. Because the thing about it is, and this is what was in the recording I was listening to again for Abraham Hicks, they said that if you say it, even when the reality doesn't match that, say it anyway. As you say it enough times, you'll feel energetically, because that's where the source of energy is, a shift in your energy. As you feel that shift, keep going. Because what you're doing is starting to embed a new thinking, which becomes a new belief. And when you can't embed that new thinking as a new belief and keep persisting in it, that's why I say 30 days is a good experiment, you'll start to see a different reality. It may not be transformed immediately. It may not be transformed in the 30 days. But if you start seeing it, you'll start seeing glimpses, see differences in, in appearances too. Barbara, what we say, see, so you're, you're amazed that <clears throat> raise that I never noticed that I have not applied. Hang on. I need to get my glasses because I can't read this and I want to be able to read it. Do I have my glasses on me? Yes, I do. Don't go too far. I want to... <laughs> Hang on. I have my reading, I have my pocket glasses on me so I can read this. I want to read what you said. Excuse me a second. Oh, no, I can read what it says. You're amazed that you never noticed that you have not applied this in relationship for men. Looking forward to doing the homework and thus positive effects. Exactly. There you go. <clears throat> George, good to see you, sir. Welcome to my broadcast. Um, well, actually, this is late for me. Usually I do it about 5 p.m. Pacific time. This is now 9.20 Pacific time um, because I was out going to the movies with my friends in a barbecue, so I had fun today being a holiday weekend. But it's nice to have you here. So to recap briefly, just to summarize, this is true of any area of your life, but particularly in the area of relationship, that's my speciality, of course. 
if you've been discovering that your beliefs don't match what you want, but you're getting things that match your beliefs, here's the way you change it. Rewind, because what's been happening is you've been running a belief because you've been thinking that for a long time. Now, you may not have thought it consciously, maybe subconscious, and this is the thing that we forget, is that we are consciously going, well, I'm thinking this, but subconsciously there's thousands, 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 literally, of thoughts running automatically underneath the radar. <clears throat> but those ones have been planted because your, your conscious mind is going subconscious. So the more you can keep focused on the conscious mind and keep that running in a new direction, new thoughts, new direction, towards what you do want, that's like embedding in the subconscious, which is where your beliefs start living. And those thoughts go down into your subconscious and you start actually experiencing a different belief structure about what you want. So it won't be what you don't want, it'll be what you do want. And then your reality will start to match that. It sounds so simple, but then here's the thing. Next 30 days, you experiment with that and see what happens because you might actually be surprised what happens. So here's the thing. <clears throat> I invite you to take this on next five days, next seven days, next 30 days and see what happens. Consciously choose to think something different from what you're experiencing that you want to be different. Not, not, don't do it for the sake of doing it. Do something you want to change because you'll feel more about, you'll feel more um, passionate about doing it and that'll help the momentum. See what happens. Let me know the results. You can message me over, so, over social media. Um, you go to my website and, and message, me, message me. There's a contact page on, that web, on my website. But this is something that's powerful and I use this for my clients too and it's becoming more overt, more overt recently because of this recording I listen to. So my invitation to you is if you are someone who's stuck in this area of relationship and you want some help reframing, recrafting new beliefs, new rules about how to make it work, I invite you to get in touch with me and actually sign up for a discovery session. I offer a complimentary clarity conversation, as I call it, triple C, basically a discovery session on my website. If you go to barryselby.com, click on the Let's Chat um, button on the left-hand side of the navigation bar and sign up for a discovery session, my gift to you. And we'll talk and see if I can help you get where you're going. And if we want to get to work together, we can do that. This is my 360th broadcast of Facebook Live on the theme of Messages for Masculine Inspire the Feminine Heart. All of these broadcasts live on my business page on Facebook. They're on my personal page too, but they're all intermingled with other things. But on my business page, that's pretty much all that's out there. So you can find all of them on my business page, which on Facebook is facebook.com forward slash author. They're also on my YouTube channel where they'll be living. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm sorry you didn't see the comments, which I tried to repeat back to you. So you can watch, hear what, know what I, heard, I saw. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, which the, the channel is Barry Selby and the playlist is Messages of the Masculine. And also on my website, again, barryselby.com on the video blog. And uh, every day I'm doing broadcast. The last couple of days were very potent. They were very deep about um, words. May, words don't hurt you unless you let them. That was a different. That was yesterday. About the whole that came from the slut shaming Facebook Live on Friday. So it's been an interesting weekend. And this one I hope helps you. So you've got homework now, <laughs> as I usually give out. And I hope this has been of insight and inspiration for you. Um, thank you for watching. And thanks for the comments. Thanks for the love. And thanks for all the hearts. And I hope this has been of, input, of value to you. If it is, let me know in the comments afterwards too. If you have any other questions, comments, put them below and I'll get to them when I sign off. And I'll be back again tomorrow with number 361. Yeah, I'm going to hit the end of the year um, this week. Wow, that's kind of experience. So thanks for being with me as always. Thanks for watching and I appreciate you being here. You're very welcome, Barbara. And if you want any help, you know how to reach me. Um, thanks for being with me as always. And I'll see you again tomorrow with something else. We'll see what the topic's going to be. They do change. And uh, play with this. It might just change your life. All right. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Angel.